My name is Joshua Duke. Uh, I'm a very proud Dungadi man, uh, originally from Kempsey, uh, New South Wales. My name is Heidi Bradshaw and I'm a Radjuri Yorta Yorta woman. So my family is out from Western New South Wales on my grandfather's side in a Golgong Mudgee area. And then on my grandmother's side, we are down by the Kamala Gunja. Yeah, my name is Daryl Lyons. Um, I'm a proud Marawali man. So Marawali spelled M-A-I-A-W-A-L-I. -A 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 yeah, so Marang Baran. My name is Carol Bale. I'm a Dungadi Gumbangi woman. Uh, I come from Armadale, New South Wales, and my people still live in the Armadale, uh, Kempsey areas of this state. So I'm Nathan Jones. I've grown up in this area all my life, so in South West Sydney, um, but my traditional connections are the Bunjalung country up in the North Coast. Jennifer Barrett's uh, my formal name, I guess you could say. A lot of people call me Jen. Uh, I am a Dungadi woman uh, from the mid-north coast of New South Wales on my mother's side of the family. So that's where my mob is, I guess you could say, but I guess um, my mob is also wherever I live um, and work. And uh, I feel like my colleagues at work are also part of my mob. So I want to pay my respects to both my elders, but also the people that I work with. At the University of Sydney is um, where I've worked for the last two decades in various roles. I'm a professor of museum and heritage studies here at the university, but I also um, now more recently have become the Pro Vice Chancellor Indigenous Academic, looking after the academic programs associated with our Indigenous strategy, One City, Many People. I'm really fortunate to wear a number of hats across uh, my community. Um, I'm the inaugural chair uh, of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Committee uh, for Chartered Accountants Australia New Zealand. Yeah, a big part of that, there's not enough sort of black fellows in accounting and it's a big passion of mine to try to move the needle in the profession and I'm also a non-executive director at the YMCA down in Canberra uh, and I'm the chair of the Audit Finance Risk Committee um, for that. So um, I love that organisation, I love what they stand for and I love what they're, uh, I guess, the direction in which they're going. And, uh, I'm very proudly the Deputy Chairperson of uh, Bengara Dance Theatre, um, where we are of course today and uh, I've adored them for as long as I've adored anything so I uh, certainly don't take it for granted at all and, uh, and then I guess the job that pays for me to do stuff, um, uh, which I also adore, is uh, my work at Deloitte. Uh, so I'm a director uh, in the Indigenous Services Group there and have been with the firm for about five and a half years now. I am also the CEO uh, and co-founder of Marilyn. Uh, Marilyn is a national consultancy firm and uh, we work with our clients to improve outcomes for Indigenous Australians. It's been a decade since we commenced. It, has been, it was co-founded uh, by myself and life partner and, uh, and business partner, Greg McKenzie. And uh, we work across the, across the country uh, doing a whole range of professional advisory services for corporates and governments and not-for-profits. And at the heart of that is uh, us wanting to work with them so that they can improve the way that they do their, uh, their work with Indigenous Australians. South West Sydney Local Health District um, is a large um, government health organisation that runs a number of health services for the communities out here in South West Sydney. So um, we have a number of particularly large hospitals, community health centres, mental health services, drug health services, population health services. Um, so essentially a mainstream health provider, um, but what I do within the organisation is I'm responsible for the Aboriginal Health Service. Um, South West Sydney would have one of the larger Aboriginal Health Services in the state. Uh, we have over 100 people attached to our, our teams, a mix of Aboriginal health workers, uh, clinicians, um, and a number of non-Aboriginal health professionals as, as well. Narangarong Aboriginal Corporation is a what we would call a, a sort of child and family child protection um, organisation. Narangarong actually uh, translates into little stars in our local direct language, um, which we sought permission from our elders to use when we were originally designing the name and starting off as an organisation um, to seek their input and their approval to use that as part of our um, 
our name. We have a number of different programs in the organisation, but it is predominantly to support um, Aboriginal children and young people and their families who are experiencing involvement in the child protection systems. We started a deep tech startup called Rainstick. Uh, so Rainstick basically um, uses electricity to mimic the natural effect of lightning to grow crops bigger, faster and more sustainably. Yeah, there's a connection to my mob, the Maralali people, so we were known as the Rainmakers. Uh, we used to do that for tens of thousands of years and we would go and rain dance to grow food for ourselves and our neighbouring mobs. The last recorded rain dance was in 1921 for the Bulia Shire Council where they had to get the last rain uh, dancer, uh, rainmaker, in to dance to stop the rain because they had him in the start to get bring the rain and then they were getting floods so we were like, hey, we've got to stop this rain because I'm really inspired by their connection to country. Uh, so we've taken on that philosophy and made a modern day rain stick out of current technologies to influence um, biology to grow quicker and bigger so we can feed, feed people.